Hey everybody, how's it going? So I want to provide a little bit of an update on this whole New York City Department of Consumer Affairs thing. I'll include a couple of videos down below. I had someone come in and issue a violation because I had laptops in the window for sale. He asked, do you have the Leeds Online record of your purchase? I did not purchase that laptop. There was one customer who said I can keep it. They don't want it back. And I have a record of that in my system that they did not care to look at. And I had another one where I have a record in my system of us calling, emailing, calling, texting, emailing. And after many, many months, we finally just said, screw it, we're going to keep this because after 45 days, it's our property as per the contract that they signed when they enter the store, as per New York City laws for this license that says after 45 days, I think it's actually 30, that we can consider it abandoned property. So we received a fine for that. And then we also received a fine for something else, which I will admit I was I was guilty of, which is we did not have a refund policy sign posted. We, off, we, we don't really sell anything. We have warranty, so we don't have uh, a refund policy for repairs. It's really just we offer warranty and if we can't figure it out, we refund you. I had that sign posted in the old store and I forgot to bring it to this store. So you got me. I'm not going to argue with you on that fine. Uh, the issue that I had with that fine was that I was not able to pay it online because as I went over in an old video, that system does not work. I could not pay it in person because when you show up, you need to make an appointment and the email address they give you to make an appointment, nobody ever ever, ever answers it. So I could not get an appointment to pay in person, even though I showed up in person at the Department of Consumer Affairs with all of my documentation. They literally could not take my money. And I could not pay by mail because by the time the settlement offer had arrived in the mail, it was actually past the date where the mail would have come. So it took over a month for it to show up. It This is, this is common. I have a license in the front of the store and I have a receipt right next to it because that license has been expired for one year and I paid for the renewal. I got a confirmation of the renewal. They never mailed me it. This is very, very common. So today, I'm eventually going to post a phone call of the, this whole situation because there was one two or three hour long phone call where between two city employees, after two hours, they actually could not figure out what to find me. I shit you not. There was one point in the phone call where the woman said, and it would be a nice time for a nap. And then I didn't hear from her for six minutes. And you, you would not believe me unless I post this. I will eventually post this phone call. So I finally got this thing today for the refund, which is the refund policy not being posted, which again, this part of this is legitimate. I am not contesting it. I am contesting the fact that it is impossible to pay. And I'm contesting the fact that it took two hours for two city officials to figure out what the fine for this actually should be. So uh, I got this little form in the mail and I just thought it was particularly funny since this is my first day back in New York. I wanted to show you this with my camera. I didn't want to scan it because I know people could say I have a cheap scanner. This is the same overhead camera that I use for all of my logic board repair videos. And this is, uh, you know, it's, it's like a Sony A5100. This thing's like 500 bucks when it came out. I have a $400 lens on it. And as you can see, this is the document that they give you on how to pay it. Now, I'm not sure how YouTube is going to wind up butchering this, but as you can see, this is pretty much a, 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 a photocopy of a JPEG of a GIF or a GIF. You know, there's a holy war on that. I'm not even going to get into that right now. So you can kind of see that the, like you can't, you could tell like from here and here and here and here. Uh, this side of the paper over here, it was actually printed properly. And I'm not going to showcase all the stuff on there because there's some personal data there. Uh, on this side, it really is obvious that this is uh, like a JPEG of a GIF of a, of a photocopy of a whatever. And uh, the part that I found to be personally just beautiful is they give you a site if you want to pay online using a credit or debit card. And the site that they give you, well, firstly, it ends in a period which I've never seen in my life. So let's just see if we can actually make this work. I'm going to try to go to this website and I'm going to try to pay this online and see how that works, if it is even possible. So we're going to type that in. It's www.nyc.gov slash site slash DC slash businesses slash pay dash fines dash fees dot page dot so we do that and we hit enter and that doesn't go anywhere because you know, I've never seen a web page that ends in a period before so we take out the period uh, there we go okay we get this so now you can log in over here and I actually think I'm logged in in a different browser so we're going to go to the other browser and now since this whole thing has gone through the system we are going to see if this is something that I can actually do so I'm gonna put uh, Firefox on instead of Edge I don't know why I had Edge on here so I went to the site and um, yeah, after correcting the period thing there and we searched for this record number at following the instructions and we hit continue and as you can see this record number cannot be found um, you, you can't find it. It doesn't exist. 
It doesn't exist. <laughs> this stuff is kind of funny. So I just thought I would kind of share that with you all. I found I, I find this. Uh, I, I I kind of find it funny that like literally months later their system isn't updated with this actual record. So I'm going to go to the bank and I'm going to get a check and I'm going to mail it to them. This is something I can actually do because there's not a deadline. In the beginning, what happened was there was a deadline to pay. And if I didn't settle by the deadline, then I would get taken to the oath, Office of Administrative Trials and Hearings. And because it took them over a month to mail me my settlement, the settlement offer actually arrived to me after it was already expired. You, you, you can't make this shit up. And uh, they said, well, if you want, you can appeal. And what you do after you appeal is we'll get the mailing records to figure out when it was mailed, if they exist, and blah, 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 blah. At this point, I was already about two to three hours into this phone call and completely about to lose my mind. So I, I didn't have it in me to do that because at the end of the day, that settlement offer, the difference between that, this is $260, whereas the settlement was $175. I had already wasted three hours of my life. I could have been fixing boards. I could have been living. And at that point, it simply wasn't worth it to me. I would, to, to appeal this, I would be, a, and go through the full process, I would uh, probably want to jump off a building. So I, I didn't do that. But it's just like a, like a nice little reminder sitting on my desk as I return. And I think, you know, it's not really that bad. Maybe I should stay here. Maybe I'm overreacting. Just to remind me as to why it is that I'm choosing to leave this utter absolute shithole of a city behind. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you on the next video. Bye now. I can't wait to post that recording. It's some good shit. All right. See you all later.